Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching today. On the program is Mahesh Rajagopalan. He's a co-founder and president of Resolvity. Mahesh, hello. How are you? Doing very well, Rich. Thanks uh, for having me here. Likewise, we're thrilled to uh, be in Dallas and see a bunch of the leading companies in the, in the uh, Texas area. Uh, I was hoping we could start off by talking a little bit about your company and what you do. Sure. At Resolvity, we deliver uh, on-demand, cloud-based, speech and touchstone IVR solutions. We automate both outbound and inbound customer contact for contact centers. Our goal is to reduce the cost of customer support for our clients while at the same time ensuring an excellent user experience in the IVR for their end users. Today on a uh, monthly basis, we automate several million transactions for customers in a wide variety of industries. We're a profitable business and uh, we're growing at a 70% year over year clip. Wow, that's quite impressive. Thank you. And uh, being that you're uh, one of the vendors, I guess, that you would call in the cloud space, and we hear so much about um, cloud computing and cloud communications, uh, how is, is the cloud approach being applied to IVR, and what, how is that looking? Sure. So uh, the cloud has given a lot of benefits to our customers. Uh, to talk to you about uh, three of the key benefits uh, that cloud-based IVR solutions have given our customers. The first is rapid ROI. The second is the ability to quickly update solutions and deploy new applications. And the third is evergreen updates. With rapid ROI, the reason for that is that we charge very low setup fees to our customers. Our customers don't have any software or hardware expenditure. And there are no hefty professional services fees. Leveraging our uh, cloud-based uh, award-winning speech application server and the IVR infrastructure, we are able to quickly update our customer solutions to meet the ever-changing customer support needs. Uh, to give you some numbers around it, it takes us one to two weeks to substantially update an existing IVR solution, and uh, we bring on board new clients in four to six weeks. Uh, so, and uh, the third is evergreen upgrades. With evergreen upgrades, our customers are sure that they're always having the latest and the greatest features and all the performance enhancements, both to the platform and to their IVR applications. So they don't have to wait for a CD to be deploy, delivered to them in order to get the latest uh, uh, refresh of the software. Now, uh, your company um, touts that it also provides services on demand. And I'm curious if you can contrast for us how you're defining on-demand as opposed to cloud-based solutions. Sure, that's a great question, Rich. When I talk about cloud-based solutions, I'm really referring to the technology aspects of the solution. The, the fact that our application server, the IVR platform, and the applications are resident in the cloud. But you're right that we are an on-demand solution. So what that means is that we don't tie down our customers with long-term service contracts. We have a solution delivery team that's constantly in touch with our customers to ensure that their applications are meeting their performance requirements. In many ways, Rich, we've got to earn our customers' business every single day because if our applications are not up to the mark, they can simply turn us off and that'll be it. Now, uh, I remember back in the uh, early 90s when voicemail first came out and we used to have pink slips of paper and people would give us messages on pink slips because there was no other way to deliver a message that uh, the first few years, a lot of people said culturally, we don't really want to leave voicemail messages. And in South America, it's still not as common to leave um, voicemail as it is in, right. the, in the US and other parts of the world. Right. I mean, it's, culturally, it is a shift. And I, I say that there are people, um, maybe the majority of, of callers, who call companies now and are frustrated with having to deal with uh, technology at the expense of humans. Right. Then you've got businesses trying to be as profitable as they can be. Right. In the intersection, what are, what are the solutions that, that you're able to help with, if at all, if any, that bridge this gap of Customers wanting the best possible solution, which in many cases means speaking with a live person, and companies wanting to minimize their, uh, their costs and maximize their profitability. Right. Great question again. In our experience, a speech IVR that's well-designed and is able to quickly and effectively 
answered a caller's uh, request, those are well received. And I think that's key to the success of a speech IVR application, relevance to the circumstances of that particular caller. In order to deliver such an IVR application, we leverage our years of experience in voice user interface design, speech recognition science, and IVR application development. Another key ingredient to our, uh, the success of our solutions is continuous improvement. As I just mentioned, we have a dedicated solution delivery team and their job is to monitor all the applications and tune them and update call flows to make sure that they are relevant to the callers. What happens as a result of this is we've seen that over time, the adoption of the speech IVR by end users increases steadily. And uh, they like interacting with those systems because they are relevant to what they called for. Clients typically see a 50% improvement in automation rates vis-a-vis -vis their legacy IVR applications when they upg upgrade to our cloud-based mm -hmm. uh, speech wow. and solutions. And they see significant uptake in first call resolution. And I, you know that's very important that's in call center. That's crucial. Yeah. And this typically results in uh, several millions in uh, annual savings for many of our clients. So what are some of the latest developments at your, your company as we wrap up here? Sure. Uh, so Q1 has been a very busy time for us. Uh, one of the exciting applications uh, that we are working on is an application that uses voice print to authenticate callers. Uh, so voice biometrics. Voice biometrics, just, voice, just use you, the features of your voice as a means to identify and authenticate you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for a large uh, service provider customer. And the benefit is that their call center agents are now able to shave 30 to 40 seconds of a call that they would otherwise spend sure. authenticating customers. End users love this too because now they don't have to fish out a bill or remember a passcode right. to get to an agent. So theoretically, you're, you're with a high level of accuracy, you know what's going on if you're a carrier getting a call because you know the phone number that's calling you. So in theory, that phone, phone is already somewhat authenticated or in the database right. based on the any information that's coming in. And then you couple that with uh, voice biometrics, which is not the securest form of biometrics, but it's pretty high up there. And um, between the two, you probably have a pretty good match on yeah. the person. Yeah, I you know, from our exp exper you know, experiments and what we have seen in the industry and all the data that we have, voice biometric is very secure. In fact, I'd say that it's significantly more secure than any of the uh, authentication mechanisms that are currently available on the phone. And in fact, we guarantee this for our customers. Really? Uh, the, the validity of the authentication. Okay. And so that is key uh, to being able to adopt this uh, in many ways. And certainly it can be tuned, right, to be more secure. And let, right, I guess there's different tuning and things like that. Yeah, you, you, can, you can tune it. And we've seen that there is a good, good answer where it is very quick for end users and it's not taxing on them while at the same time being extremely secure. Great, I'm interested in learning more once you get that up and running. Sure. Another thing I wanted to mention, Rich, is that uh, we've just launched our India Business Center. This is uh, focused on delivering speech IVR applications to Indian enterprises that are focused on providing customer support to Indian customers. We're also working on a customer-facing application in India. Stay tuned and you'll learn more about this in the coming months. We certainly will, and thanks for being on the program. You're welcome back, and we'd love to hear more. Thank you, Rich. It's a pleasure. Thank you.